Okay, welcome back YouTube fam. Today we are making a decent dish. Today we are making some jambalaya shays way. I have my pot and my pan on the stove. We don't do seafood and we don't do pork. Those are all beef uh, links. These are chopped up chicken pieces. Okay, right here we have celery. This is sweet onion. This is a whole clove. I do have the minced garlic, but it's just something about having that garlic smell on your fingers, man. Um, some green onions, some green bell peppers, and some red bell peppers. <clears throat> I have my vegetable uh, base bouillon here. And we have our seasonings with some chicken stock, some Worcestershire, some hot sauce, some crushed tomatoes, some tomato paste, and some yellow rice because we fancy like that. You know, a lot of people do the white rice, and which is okay. I don't knock nobody. But when it comes to season and flavors and colors, nobody do it better than Shay. So let's go ahead and get started to get to it, fam. As you guys can see, all you see is flavor. And when I say Shay's Jambalaya, to me, Shay's Jambalaya is flavor and love in one pot. And that's what we're going to make today. So let's get to it. Okay, as you guys can see, I got my pot, my pan over here. And my dry off towel. So what we are going to do is start off, we are going to fry our beef links, then fry our chicken, and then we are going to do all of our vegetable celery, add our uh, garlic in at the end so it don't burn, and then we're going to put everything else together. So let's go ahead and get started.
Okay, I wanted to fast forward through most of that. Go ahead and get that off the way. We got some residue left there. We're going to add just a little bit more grease. There's still, still some left on there. But we're going to add just a little bit more. Okay. Turn our heat back up a notch. Hey, Daddy. Okay, look at you. <laughs> you want to steal a piece, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. There's a fly. I, I know there's a fly in there's a fly in the kitchen over there trying to steal some. I don't know what they in there watching. Yeah, I want to run away. We're gonna dump everything in here except for our green onion and our um, garlic. We'll get to those runners in a minute. I'm gonna try not to put that garlic in here. I'm going to my back in it. It's not so freaking good. It's so freaking good. Oh, my God. Where'd you go? Got it. You okay? And like I said, when these, when these are almost done, we'll add in our garlic. I just don't want them to burn too early. And I have this on medium, medium. If you want to add in more of something or take something out because you don't care for it, that is perfectly fine. Gotta get all that residue across the bottom up, friend. Go ahead. Like I was telling y'all my last one, so when we do our bell peppers and onions and we start that, go ahead and clean the pan. So we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of that up off there. Clean in the pan. Put all the flavor on the bell peppers, onions, celery. Now, I'm not cooking it all the way down. I don't want my bell peppers to be soggy. They still don't have a crunch, but I'm sauteing them to pretty much just draw out the flavor in them. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna uh, add in my garlic. I'm gonna put it right on top. Y'all, this is what y'all want. This for uh, like y'all the heaters, you know what I'm saying, with y'all steak. I got green onions on the run for real. I guess they think by diving into the fire is a better death than being in the pot. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and throw you in there. And I do have my okra. I did not put that out on the table because um, I didn't really want to take it out till it was time. But I didn't forget the okra, guys, for people who was like, I didn't see no okra on there. It's, it's in the freezer. The okra is in the freezer. Okay, what I'm going to do is turn the heat off. Oh, it smells so good. Y'all yeah, don't even know, like how I did this chicken. I can eat stuff like this for lunch every day. Oh, um, so far. Yeah, I'm not gonna believe what I did earlier. I wanted a small snack. I wanted some sweet, so I got a chocolate pop. It got stuck to the top of my lip. 
took a piece of yeah it did it took a piece off yeah it, it hurt <laughs> it hurt okay this is our pan guys everything been rinsed off okay so we have got our meats our veggies everything is sauteed and ready so what we are going to do now is move to the next step and get everything poured in okay guys so go ahead and get this turned on low while we're getting a few things poured in here so our crushed tomatoes what is this 14 28 my bad 28 ounces like about something else i was looking at okay to get this thing thing out. I'm gonna get it out. That's what she said. Okay. Uh, our tomato paste. Oop, never mind. Gonna add drink. We toss this in the sun. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Okay. Still a little warm. So. I want juices and all. Juices and all. Get these over here, about the way. The soldiers that made it. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Let me scoot y'all up here. Put y'all in the forefront. Ooh. Trying to get y'all stable keeps wanting to move. Okay. Okay, guys. This is 12 ounces. Okay. And because we extra, we don't want to do the white rice. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this turned up to uh, medium high. A little hot sauce. A little Worcestershire. This thing ripped off and over where it goes and shut it. Pour a little in. We're gonna get to the mixing. I'm gonna bring it up to a high bowl, is what I'm going to do. And then I'm gonna turn it down and let it simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes. And it might not even go that long. It really is just gonna depend how everything cooks. 
but I am going to pour the whole container in here. I'm just pouring a little bit in at a time and stirring. Don't worry about the uh, all the flavor because we still ain't done. We're gonna let this boil down as and it, it is boiling. We will still be putting some more flavor in. Okay, now we're going to put a little seasons in here right now. Clean myself up. Got tomato paste on my arm. Okay. So right now, we're going to put our Tonys in. Some crushed peppers. A little oregano. And a little lemon pepper. Okay. So once again, we are going to bring this to a nice bowl. And then... We are going to let it simmer. Okay. And we'll be back. Okay, guys, we are, looks like 18 minutes in. And we are going to put some of our vegetable bouillon in I'm trying to see if it'll and I know I'm right but it's the vegetable kind guys we're gonna take a tablespoon kind of mix it in like that it'll come off your spoon with that heat okay We have some Slap Your Mama. Okay. Okay. It smells so freaking good, y'all. Like, it smells fire, fire. Fire, fire. Fire, fire. I almost want to say fire, fire three times. Like, it smells fire, fire. And I tasted it before we started our seasoning, so I know I'm not over seasoning. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to put a little bit of meat tenderizer in there. Just a dash of garlic. And you know I like some pepper. Okay, and we are going to continue to let it simmer. It is on um, low, medium low. And it definitely is starting to, to thicken up, guys. 
We're getting that thickness. It's going to taste so good once it sets and all the flavors come together. Okay, so we're going to continue let it go. Okay, guys, as you can see, it has thickened up. We went for 30 minutes with our stuff and it is ready now we still are going to garnish it but we are going to let it cool off for a little bit because i had my husband and my son taste it and both of them were <laughs> even after blowing on it so uh they was a test dummies and no matter what excuse me son no no not, nothing like that no, no, no shade but i'm just saying it's, it's still too hot for me obviously and so what we're going to do is we're going to let it sit for a little bit. But yes, fam, this is Shay's Gumbo, uh, Jambalaya. I'm sorry, we was just talking about some gumbo. This is Shay's Jambalaya, and I do not eat shrimp. So if you like shrimp, you can put you some shrimp in here and enjoy it. But we will be back when it cools off. Okay, guys, it is done. We're going to bless it, see what it's talking about. And once again, like I said, we do have some garnishes. I'm sorry it took so long. I did try to fast forward, but I wanted to make sure you guys were fully prepared. If you wanted to make this yourselves. <laughs> Forgive my goofy family. <laughs> Okay, and we have our garnish. So, I want a little bit of everything that you can see. I'll get it in the next piece. Mm. It's so good, y'all. Rice, the oaken, the whole girl, the chicken, that bean. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Got a cornbread. Yeah, it's five five for real. Okay, guys. I'm let y'all go. <laughs> I'm finna get through. I know you're ready to eat. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all go. But until next time, stay cool. With who? With Shane's Kitchen. Bye, family.